friends in this session we will learn how to control this led which is interface with the raspberry pi over internet using mqrt protocol if i click on led on button this led will turn on if i press led off button this led will turn off so on off operation will be done by using this app it is working on mqrt protocol so let's move on to the theory part followed by that demonstration part in this experiment i have interface led with raspberry pi 12 number pin of raspberry pi is connected to anode of the led and cathode of the led is connected to the ground i have given three different links in the description first link is talking about what is a mqrt you can open it it is giving all kinds of information about mqrt in the second link they have given us how to use the paho mqrt python client for beginners so you can go through it and you can implement the thing for our experiment in third link we are using a broker broker name is emqx.io you can go through it and you can learn how to use this broker in python programming or in raspberry pi in our case we are using mqrt broker broker name is broker.emqx.io and at one side we are using mobile app to publish the data and at other side we are using raspberry pi to monitor the data so mobile app will publish the data and raspberry pi will subscribe the data in our case we are using topic my led control this is the name of our topic and payload is either on or off as my raspberry pi will subscribe my led control topic so it will receive either on or off payload once my raspberry pi receive either on or off the led will turn on and turn off now i want to access raspberry pi already i have connected my raspberry pi to the router so to remotely access my raspberry pi i will open vnc viewer in that i will go to the file then new connection and in the new connection i will type ip address of raspberry pi and i will give name to my screen let's say name is my raspberry pi and i will say okay after that i will open this icon raspberry pi will be connected to the my laptop i will provide username and password this is my screen of raspberry pi uh, initially i will install mqrt paho so i have to type sudo pip3 install paho dash mqrt and i will press enter as i have already installed this library it will show message like requirement already satisfied so i will i will close it and i will go to the programming and in the programming i will go to the honey this is my program to control led using raspberry pi very first line is to import paho.mqrt.client library second line is for importing os and system library third line is for importing the rpi gpio library line number 7 here i am using gpio board method to specify particular pin of raspberry pi when i am using particular pin in number of times in my program that time it shows warning to avoid that i have used command gpio dot set warning false line number 10 i have given name led to pin number 12 of raspberry pi 
then function this on underscore connect function will be called once my raspberry pi is connected to the broker line number 19 to line number 30 here i am continuously monitoring what data is available at particular topic the raspberry pi receive any data that will be stored in x variable and same data will be printed onto the output screen of raspberry pi if data is containing on word in its string then i am printing here on string on my output string at the same time led pin of raspberry pi will made high in case if word off is available in payload x then off word will be printed on output screen at the same time led pin of raspberry pi will be made low these lines are used to call various functions line number 36 is used to initialize led pin as a low line number 38 is specifying which broker i am using and which port i am using and this will be executed forever now i will save this program and i will run this but before running this program i will install mqrity dashboard app in my mobile so let's learn how to install it and how to make different setting in that app to install MQDT dashboard, open Google Play Store, then type MQTT dashboard. This is the app. Click on install. Then I will open this app. Say OK. Initially, I have to add broker here. So type heading for same mqtt then address i have to type tcp colon double slash broker dot emqx dot io keep port as a 1883 which we have used in our python programming then this much information is sufficient so at the bottom there is a save button click on it after that i have to add two more buttons one is to turn on the led and second one is to turn off the LED. So click on plus button at the bottom. Select option button. Then here I can give name to the buttons. Let's say first name for button is a LED on. I can modify symbol for the same. I will scroll down and I will select icon and I will choose color green. Say OK. Then my topic name is uh, my led control my payload is on now i will click on save button at the bottom in this way i have added first button now add second button by clicking on plus sign select button option then give button name as a led off then you can change icon for the same and you can choose color as well give topic name is my led control and payload is off this much information is sufficient scroll down and click on save button at the bottom we have to run python program now i will click on run button once i click on run button connect with the result port 0 that means my raspberry pi is connected to the broker now i will click on any one button which is available on my app now i am pressing led on button so on string is available on output screen if i am pressing led off that time off string is displayed onto the output screen at the same time, my LED is turned on and turned off. This is a MQT dashboard app. This is Raspberry Pi and this is a LED which is interface with the Raspberry Pi. To turn on and off this LED, 
I will use these two buttons. So if I press LED on, then this LED will be turned on. If I press this LED off, this LED will be turned off. So turning on the LED and off the LED will be controlled by these two buttons. These are working on impurity protocol. So in this way, we have learned how to control LED using MQT protocol over the internet. Thanks. Thanks for watching my video.